Rogers Show, starring Roy Rogers, King of the Cowboys, Trigger, his golden palomino, and Dale Evans, Queen of the West, with Pat Brady, his comical sidekick, and Roy's wonder dog, Bullet. It doesn't pay to look back on the sad things, Lucy, especially if you can't change them. Your mommy wouldn't want that. Gee, Dale, I, I don't know what to say. Well, you certainly knew what to say when you talked me into coming with you in this contraption instead of letting me ride buttermilk. Now, Dale, you know very well if you'd have taken your horse, you never could have got to the Collins place with all this grub and stuff. I'm getting there now. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Pat, but honestly, I just so wanted to get this food and medicine to Margaret. Well, we'll get it there yet. You just leave it to old Nellie Bell and me. Okay, Dale, try it once more. Well, I'm a sucking mule. You said it. Is that Roy? Yeah, is that that trigger giving me the horse laugh again? Hey, someone's riding with him. Hi, Lucy, I was just... Oh, come here, honey. I dropped by to see how things were, and it just happened. I know it's hard, honey. But you're not alone. You're going to be with us. You know that, don't you? If you and Pat could take her to town... You bet we can, Roy. We could just get this four-wheel contraption here to run. Yeah, stolen way out here like this, just when the poor kid needs it the most. Her ma's dead, and her paws up. I mean, he's a, uh, uh, he's, oh, nuts. Gee, I'm sorry, Roy. Forget it, Pat. Listen. Yeah? When you get to town, tell Corner Willis to come out to the Collins place. I'll be waiting there for him. And maybe somebody else. Who? Oh. Look. Suffering rattlesnakes. Why, if they plaster these over town, Lucy's bound to know that her dad's an outlaw. Well, I managed to talk Sheriff Blodgett out of posting him for a week or so. Well, that ought to help some. I'm just not convinced that Jed's entirely to blame. It doesn't add up. Well, do you suppose Jed will come on his own now that his wife is... I hope so. For Lucy's sake. All right, Nellie Bell. You can't let Lucy down now. you got to start. Both, you hop in the jeep and keep Miss Lucy company. <laughs> Enough to me already, Duke. I think you're making a I'm not asking for advice. I'm telling you what to do. I don't know anything about horses or guns or... You won't hurt anyone with those blanks in that gun. But you will be identified as one of us. And if the law ever gets you, all the whining in the world about being innocent won't mean a thing. Now keep in line and do as you're told. If you want to live. Come on, get on your horse.
Jeff. Thought you sneaked the payroll through, huh? Maybe he doesn't know who he's dealing with. What are you trying to do? I'm sorry, Gus. My horse shied. Fellas. Oh. Hey, he looks pretty bad. You better get him over to Doc Adams right away. Well, what do you know about this, Roy? Not too much, Sheriff. There were three of them. They rode off when they saw me coming. They must have been after the payroll. Hey, I thought you told me you wouldn't put those up for a while. Well, I'd like to have gone along with you on this, Roy, but the bank wouldn't hold still for it. Well, I hope you and the bank know what you're doing to Jed Collins' little girl. Sheriff. Ed Ford just came to. He said the hold-up men were the Lawson gang, and Jed Collins was riding with them. Jed Collins? And you wanted me to hold up on Collins' posters. Hey, Rogers. We're going to get Jed Collins, dead or alive. And if you've got any more ideas about trying to help him, forget him. Honey, please drink your milk. Hi, Roy. Hey, Gee, Lucy and I are glad to see you. How you coming, Lucy? Oh, she's fine. Yeah, but she won't eat. Well, I reckon she'll put on the feed bag when she feels like it. Uh, I think I'll drink my milk now. Good girl. Oh, that's wonderful. Pat, you see that Miss Lucy here gets anything she wants to eat. Sure will, Dale. Anything her little heart desires. <laughs> Say, from the looks of you, you could stand some food, too. Well, not now, Dale. I want to talk to you a minute. Yeah? The Lawson gang tried to hold up the payroll. The driver recognized Jed as one of the writers. Oh, no. His picture will be plastered all over town. Lucy's bound to see it. Well, I'll just do everything I can to keep her here in the restaurant with me. You do the best you can. In the meantime, I'll take Bullet and go out to where they held up the wagon. See if we can track him from there. Good luck, Roy. Thanks. So long, Lucy. Bye, Roy. Come on, Bullet. We've got work to do. Hello, Gus. Hi, boys. Marty. Come inside, Marty. How does it look? Go on, tell him, Marty. Well? Like I said, heavy payrolls came to the bank this morning. Branding season's over. A lot of writers to be paid off tomorrow. Is the head bookkeeper set to let us in the bank after hours this afternoon? Well, are you? That's something to think about. If I let you in, the authorities will know that someone on the inside helped with a robbery and I, well... What you're trying to say is that Jed doesn't work at the bank anymore. And there's no one else you can frame. Now look here. This whole business was your idea. You wanted to rob the bank the easy way. It was you who suggested that I juggle the books and shift the blame to Jed. You got your cut? Any kicks? No, not a thing. I mean, I think that Jed knows who did it, now that he saw me come here with you. He's right, boss. The boys want to talk to you about Jed, too. Yeah? They know you had to take him along in one holdup so that no one would believe his story about his being innocent of the bank robbery. But they think we ought to get rid of him now. Got news for you, Gus. Mrs. Collins at rest. That'll be one less worry for Jed. Yeah, but what about us? You've got it in for me. He'd do anything to pay me back for framing him. Don't worry. We'll get rid of Jed. You want to give him that as a going away present? We used Jed once to get at the bank. Maybe he'll let himself be used again. Marty, get back to town. Spread word that Jed Collins is running amok because of his wife's death. Spread word that he's killed Crazy. 
But what about the job? Get going. We'll see you this afternoon, after the bank closes. Come in the other room, Gus. See if I can find some more firewood. Quiet, Bullet. One thing bothers me, though. What's that? It's just possible he may be taken alive. That doesn't worry me. If it does me, he'll tip them off about the holdup this afternoon. How did Jed know about the holdup? He heard you and the boys talking about it last night. All right. It's up to you to take care of Jed yourself. Do it down before he gets to Mineral City, or anywhere else. All right, I will. Here, give me that horse. You haven't got a chance. You all right, Gus? I'm all right. It's him we got to take care of. He saw me get Jed Collins. All right, Rogers, get on your horse. We're going back to camp. Just a minute. We're moving out. What's the idea, Duke? That shooting may have attracted attention, Gus. Let's move to the hideout in Hidden Valley. Shall we finish him here or take him with us? They'll never stop hunting us if Rogers is found dead. We'll tie him up and leave him here. Take him inside.
The window, boys. Come through the window. Come on, boy. Untie the rope. Get it, boy. Atta, boy. Hurry up, boy. Untie it, boy. That's it. Now you're coming. Get it, boy. Now you're coming. Get it, boy. There you go. Good boy. That killed you. Oh, Roy. I think I got the blood stopped. Then I fell asleep. What day is this? You've only been here a couple of hours. A couple of hours? Then we still got time to save the bank. You take it easy. You're hurt pretty bad. Yeah, but Duke Lawson's going to rob it this afternoon. Yeah, I know. Martin Hale is staying after hours to let him in. Now, you just take it easy until I get you fixed up. Then we'll check on that. All right. Stay right here. before we head down, just to make sure everybody knows his job. Gus, you and Pete take the back way. I'll take the other boys and go down the main street. We've got it. Come on. We're almost there, Jess. You think you can hang on a little longer? I'll be all right, Roy. Cutting across these ranges and fields saved me considerable. If we're doing it this way, we might make it in time. I hope so. It's getting awfully late, and I'm getting nervous. Okay, boys, you know what you have to do. So help me, boss, I got him. I couldn't have missed. Get Rogers and Jed, then take the bank. Play it smart and play it fast. Come on. Here's the other one. Jed Collins came in town to tell the truth. 
See if you can get these two skunks to do the same. I'm sure glad you were right about Jed, Roy. Daddy, you're a real hero. <laughs> no, Lucy, dear. Roy did something that I couldn't do. He's the hero. I'm so grateful to you, Roy and Dale. Don't you worry about that, honey. You just take real good care of your daddy. And being the vice president of a bank isn't easy, you know. What's the matter with you, Mr. Pat? Well, how about me getting in on some of this here hero stuff? Well, Dad Gummit, I got enough bullet holes in my cook's hat to use for a soup strainer. Well, you can be my hero, Dimples. <laughs> Looks like Pat's really enjoying this hero business. Aren't you, Dimples? Happy trails.